Well, Ben Simmons was recently a guest on the JJ Reddick podcast. And Ben, who's set to make his return to the court, hopefully to kick off the season as a Brooklyn Net. Ben looked back in the past during his time in Philadelphia, especially towards the end of that bad boy. And in the midst of this podcast with JJ, he told his former teammate, pretty much one of the people that hurt him the most in the midst of everything that he was going through mentally was none other than the great Shaquille O'Neal. Ben had this to say about Shaq. He said, people go through it. Doesn't matter how much money you got, how famous you are, like it's real. People go through everyday struggles. I think it's kind of ignorant, like Shaq and Chuck sometimes, what they're saying, because they have a platform to kind of like protect us, you know, do good. Obviously, they're supposed to criticize us, you know, we're basketball players. But when it comes to personal stuff, there's a level of respect that they should have, even Shaq. Like when I was dealing with everything that was going on, I actually messaged him and he put it out. And I was like, all right. I did him was like, what are you saying this stuff if you don't even know the story? Because he always wants to say like, yo, we're LSU brothers. You're my brother, all of this. If you're my LSU brother, you would have reached out to me by now. And it's been months since I've been dealing with this. You ain't reached out once and said, hey, you okay? Like what's going on? So Shaquille O'Neal did respond to Ben on his own podcast. It's called The Big Podcast. Shaquille O'Neal said, first of all, if you play at 930 and we come on at 10 and we say something, it's just what we see. The mental thing ain't come out until everybody start bashing you. Then you let people know you had some mental health problems. I told the world, I said he DM'd me. He told me he's going through some problems. And I said I was going to back up. And then I told him in a DM, okay, the reason why people don't know what's going on is because you ain't talking. But as far as what I saw and I speak on what I know, I know how to get to that next level. He knows that. And yes, you can be my brother, but I ain't going to always sugarcoat things. I'm going to tell you the real. I ain't going to never sugarcoat. But you can't say I'm hating because all the stuff you're doing, you saw me do it. If you are greater, you can't be a hater. That's from the desk of none other than Shaquille O'Neal. So for those who don't remember the story, Shaq on Inside the NBA did pretty much reveal some DMs between uh, himself and Ben Simmons. And it was in the midst of Ben not playing last year. And everybody was kind of looking around like, yo, Ben, Philadelphia could really use you. Once he was traded to Brooklyn, the Knicks could really use you. And Ben made no appearances for either team last season that he played for. Here's the thing. Shaquille O'Neal represents the old era of basketball. Keep in mind, as great as Shaq was, Shaq didn't make the money that some of these athletes of today are making. As great as Shaq is, he's arguably the greatest center of all time. He's in the conversation. He is arguably the NBA's biggest brand, not named Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, or LeBron James we've seen in the last 25 years. And with that being said, Shaq's not making the money that some of these guys that are nowhere near the talent, nowhere near the winner, or nowhere near the popularity that the great Shaquille O'Neal possessed when he was in the league. Shaq is a guy that's understanding of how this thing called entertainment works. The more generations were removed from the 90s and 80s, obviously you got athletes that are just going to not get it. And what I mean by it, Ben Simmons looks around, and, and, and this is my opinion. He thinks, yo, just because I'm a basketball player, you shouldn't critique me when I'm down. I hear what he's saying, but Shaq comes from that era of, yo, don't you realize these people are paying you $150, $180 million, $200 million to dribble a basketball? I would say shoot a basketball, but Ben doesn't do that. These people are paying $150, $180, $200 million for you to play basketball. And what NBA athletes have to realize to the casual person, we don't care about y'all problems. Like we got problems too. You don't think regular people have mental health issues. The reality is here's the trade-off or what used to be the trade-off. We take time out of our day as fans, despite all the stuff going on in a lot of our lives to support you entertaining us. You get paid a lot of money for your entertainment and your great talents that you possess. The trade-off is, if you're gonna make all that money playing a sport, then you got the financial means to deal with your problems on bigger levels. That's the trade-off. Whatever Ben wants to talk about with the mental issues, it's on him. Hopefully he gets the help that he needs. But from a fan's perspective, 
and from a, a, a member of the media, especially somebody who's not only a fan, but a all-time great in Shaquille O'Neal, he looks at it as like, bro, you're playing basketball. You ain't, you ain't saving the world. You play basketball. And it's tough to take Ben serious when he cites mental health issues because the reality is a lot of us think nothing's really wrong with him. He just don't want to shoot. He's afraid to shoot and get booed for it. So it's tough for the guy that says he's got mental health issues to also be the guy that doesn't like shooting basketball. Again, I don't know if the brother has mental issues. If he does have it, hopefully he gets the help he needs. But I think in a guy in Shaq's position, he's like, yo, bro, I've seen pressure in ways that you nowhere compare. All you got to do is get out there on the court and try to help your team win. And you will remove yourself from this type of criticism that you've gotten over the last couple of years because you seemingly are afraid to play basketball. And even worse, you're mad that people are critiquing you for not playing basketball, even though fans pay big time money to see guys like you play. Thank y'all so much. Time loves support. But your boy won't take for granted. Y'all let me know about the back and forth between Ben Simmons and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm out.